Good morning, everybody. Hi, everyone. Hey, Cheryl, do you like my money tree? Oh, Debbie, this is so cute, but why did you make a money tree? Well, because I'm going to use it as an example for our Bible lesson today. Oh, so we have a really good story to tell the folks today, don't we? Of course. Okay, so what does that dollar do? Well, you buy stuff with the dollar. What do you think I could get with this dollar? A Snickers bar. Oh. They're very satisfying. Yeah, and it's worth a dollar, right? Yeah, yeah. It sure is. So, we're good friends, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, so, what if I asked you if you could give me a lot of dollars on this tree? Or maybe the whole tree? Well, we are good friends. But I kind of like it. I don't, Come on. Uh, can I think about it for a minute? No. What are you going to do with it? Well... I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with it. I really don't like this dollar. I like, uh, the, I like the bigger dollars. So, can you give this all to me? After that? Yeah. No way, no how. Well, why not? Because I could have bought a Snickers bar with that and you threw it away. You're being very irresponsible. I wasn't able to let you be satisfied with the Snickers you bar. You were not able to let me do that. Well, you know what? I don't really blame you. I mean, but. Because I did that, will you still be my friend? Yes, I'll still be your friend. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, so we want to talk to you about a Bible story that discusses wasting money. You see, Jesus had a story in Luke chapter 15, verses 11 to 32, and it was about a child, a son, who went to his dad and he wanted his inheritance early. So his dad gave him a bunch of money mm -hmm. and the son went on his way. But then the son ended up wasting all of the money, kind of like how Cheryl just threw that money away. So the son stayed away from his family because he thinks that his dad will not love him mm -hmm. anymore. So anyway, after a while, the son decided just to bite the bullet mm -hmm. and he returned home. So I'm curious, do you think the dad was like super happy to see him or super sad or what do you think? Well, what I know... Oh. What I know is the father was very happy to see him. He ran to greet him. He hugged him. I even heard the dad gave him a welcome home party. Oh, nice. I want a party. <laughs> I love parties. <laughs> so one of the reasons Jesus tells us this story is that sometimes we tend to think like the son did. Sometimes we think that things are more important than God. And sometimes we think that when we've done things like that, God just doesn't want to be our friend because we've thrown our things away like she did that dollar, right? But God loves us more than he loves things. And Jesus wants us to know that this really isn't true because of what Debbie just said, that God just loves us more than things. Jesus is reminding us that we are more important to God than things that we either have or we don't have. Yep. So just like the father welcomed the son home with open arms, God will welcome us whenever we turn to him. God loves us more than the things that are or aren't in our lives. Because God will never, ever, ever, ever stop loving us. Yeah. And we should not let anything stop us from inviting God's love into our lives. Absolutely. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for Jesus who reminds us that you love us more than anything in this whole world. Amen. Amen. Have a great week, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thanks for being my friend, Debbie. Oh, anytime. <laughs>